Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geeky Script. First of all, a very happy new year to all of you. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to install MySQL server along with MySQL Workbench. So I am going to also show you how you can easily write some queries, how to create table, you know, all of that in this video. So this video is going to be a bit long, but I can promise you that at the end of the video, you will be able to learn a lot of new things. So you know, do watch the video till the end. If you face any issues in middle, you can put a comment in our comment sessions. I'll try my best to help you. And I have also started a couple of YouTube channels. So in Geeky Syntax, I'll be posting regularly some coding and programming videos. So if you're interested, you can always subscribe this channel. So that will you know motivate me even to make more videos. And also I have started one blogging channel, Geeky Script Blog. So I, I was recently in Kashmir. So I have posted one video, so if you are interested, you can also subscribe this Geeky Script blog channel as well. Alright, I will be putting both the links in our description. So now for MySQL server, you need to just simply go to a new tab and just simply type over here, MySQL download and hit enter. And this will show you this MySQL downloads link. So you need to click on this link and it's going to redirect to the official site of MySQL. So here you need to just simply scroll down and you will be getting this MySQL community GPL downloads. So you need to open that and when you click on that it's going to redirect to this MySQL community downloads. So here you need to click on this MySQL installer for Windows. So when you click on that it's going to again redirect to this MySQL community download Windows installer. So Windows installer. So this link I am going to put right in our description so you can directly use that link to land over this site and here you can see that the current version is version 8.0.35 and we are using it for Microsoft uh, Windows operating system right so it is MSI installer. So here when you come you will be able to see that you have two options one is this 2.1 megabyte another is uh, 288.6 megabyte so what I am going to recommend you is to download this one, so which is MySQL installer uh, community version, all right, not the web community one. So you need to install this one. So download this and it's going to show you this page. Here you need to click on no thanks, just start my download and it's going to start downloading our MySQL server. All right, I have already downloaded it. So I'll just simply, you know, cancel this. I'll minimize my browser. I'll go to my download directory and you can see that the same MySQL community version is already been downloaded over here. So to just simply double click on it to in order to install it locally on our system. And it's going to ask you for administrative privileges, just simply click on yes. And there you go. So it is rightly started installing. Let's first minimize our download directory. And it will again ask you for administrative privileges, just simply click on yes. And you can see that our MySQL installer 1.6 is rightly started launching. And here is our MySQL installer. So here you can see that we have some radio buttons. So you need to select this custom installation. So you need to select this radio button and you need to click on next. So here uh, under select products, you can see that we have some products. So you need to expand this MySQL servers. Then again, expand this you know until you get mysql server 8.0.35 and then you have to click on this arrow so when you click on that it, it will show you under products to be installed similarly you need to also expand our applications as you expand our application it will show you mysql workbench so mysql workbench will basically give you a gui interface or graphic user interface so you need to select this click on this arrow to move it under the product to be installed all right and for MySQL shell also, if you want, you can again, you know, do the same thing like select this and then you can put that under product to be installed. So if you want, you can do that. I'll not uh, going to drag shell over there because I, I'll show you uh, my in within MySQL workbench itself, how you can, you know, uh, write queries, how to create table databases and all that. I'm not going to use MySQL shell. But if you required, you can always put a comment in our comment sessions. I'll be making a video on that as well. All right. So for now, I am going to select only MySQL server and MySQL workbench. And then I'll just going to simply click on next. So you can see that these two are the products that we are going to install. So just simply click on execute and it's going to start, you know, installing it. So now let's wait for a couple of minutes. So we'll come back 
and now you can see that our MySQL server and MySQL workbench all our you know status is complete so it is installed so just simply click on next over here and uh, now it's time to configure so it's telling ready to configure click on next so here you can see that our TCP IP then the port is uh, 3306 so this is very important so this is uh, the port that uh, we use to communicate with our MySQL server all right so remember this port and uh, all other thing you can keep this default uh, this name pipe name and the you know shared memory name all are mysql you can remember this you will not need these are advanced stuff all right so only thing that will need is the port number so remember the port number for now and click on next and now it's telling that uh, use a strong password which is fine just simply click on next so let's give the password over here so i'll give one password and i'll repeat that same password over here i'll simply click on next password is weak which is fine and here you can see that our windows service name going to be mysql80 so this service uh, you know they're going to install it so you know services right uh, windows services so among all the service they are going to be one mysql server service as well all right and it will start mysql server at the system startup so a system going to automatically start that service all right so it's not a manual uh, startup all right so yeah so keep this default and uh, run windows service as standard system account which is also fine just simply click on next and it is telling yes grant full access to user running the windows service is applicable and uh, administrative group only so as i just told you it is uh, you can just leave it for the windows uh, you know automatic windows service just simply click on next and uh, it's time to execute so once you click on execute it's going to start executing all the steps so now again you can see it is initial initializing the database so it might take some time so let's wait for some time so welcome back once again guys so now i can see that our configuration for mysql server 8.2.35 was successful so you can just simply click on finish over here and uh, you can just simply click on next now so now that uh, start mysql workbench after setup is rightly selected just simply click on finish to launch our mysql uh, you know workbench and you can see that our mysql workbench is rightly opened over here so let's you know click on this local instance of mysql 80 so here you need to repeat that same password so whatever password you have given during installation you need to give that same password click on save password in vault so that you don't need to you know type the same password again and again and click on ok and it's going to start you know uh, launching our mysql workbench so there you go you can see it is now properly opened right so our query window is also open so this is the interface of our mysql workbench so you can you know drag this right up there and here you can you know start writing your code so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a database first so i'm going to write create database and i'm going to give the name uh, database name as players and i'm going to end with a colon I'm going to select this and click on this, you know, um, lighting icon and you can see that our create database players is successfully executed. So our players DB is created. So let's create a table. So create table cricketers and then you need to provide, you know, bracket and within bracket you need to provide the columns name. Let's give the column, uh, column name as a player ID and i'm going to give the data type as int and next column probably i'll give name and i'll give bear care and i'll give probably 255 all right so i'll leave i'm going to keep only these two you know column player id and just the player name so i'm going to select this and click on this lighting icon and you can see that it is showing some error so error is no database selected so fine you need to give a 
players name i mean uh, 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 database name so players dot cricketers now if you select and click on the run button you can see that our table is now created right so now it's time to insert you know some data in our table so insert into you know players dot cricketer then we need to provide the column name which is player id comma name and then values and let's give the value you know as first will be one and let's give a player name so we'll give you know, Rohit Sharma and I'll just simply end with a colon and I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on this lighting icon again and you can see one row affected so one data is inserted similarly if you want to insert one more so you can just simply select and click on you know uh, just repeat the same and let's give the player name as Virat Kohli all right and you can select this and you can click on this lighting icon you can see it is you know properly inserted you can do select star from players dot cricketers and with colon and you can again select this and you can see the output right Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli is coming up there, up, up there so here you can see there is one you know error it is showing so that is because you have haven't end semicolon so once you do that you can see that error is no longer there right and when you do select start from players dot cricketers you can see the output coming properly so in this way you can easily install mysql server and mysql workbench on a windows operating system after that i have also shown you how to create tables how to create database how to insert data into a table how to fetch all the details from your table so if you need more videos on uh, mysql server or sql basically you can put a comment in our comment sessions i'll try my best to make more such videos and as i have told you i have started these two channels so in geeky syntax probably you'll get more videos on mysql so you know do subscribe this channel and also this is my vlogging channel if you're interested you can also subscribe this channel as well so that's basically all about this video Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe. That will really help me to make more such videos. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.